Robert De Niro recently spoke about The Irishman's release date. The Scorsese picture will be the first time the pair have made a feature length film together since 1995. Since the movie will be released on Netflix, at the moment there's confusion as to whether the movie will be released in cinemas to wide audiences since Netflix usually release movies on their streaming service exclusively. And those films which they hope to garner award success with, they do release in cinemas but in select theatres and on limited runs. De Niro recently spoke at the NAB show in New York on the film and working with Netflix. He also apparently said something quite interesting, which is that the movie isn't actually going to be called The Irishman, but will retain the book's name, I Heard You Paint Houses. Take that with a pinch of salt though, because FierceVideo.com, who released this news, haven't provided a direct quote or video of De Niro saying this. And everyone who has talked about the film, including those involved with production and even Scorsese himself, have referred to the film as The Irishman. But anyway, what he is quoted as saying is, With this movie, you have to do it. I think Netflix just has to find a way, if not already, on how to release it theatrically and then, at one point, it goes out the other way. I mean, that's the fair way to do it. You need that kind of presentation. It helps. It's the way the film should be presented. And on working with Netflix, he said, it's been very good, and a movie like Paint Houses or The Irishman would not have been done in the way it needed to be done if it wasn't for Netflix, because we needed the money. He also called the film an ambitious project and joked that the de-aging CGI being used to make him look younger for flashback scenes would extend his career another 30 years. So in short, it looks like De Niro's in the same boat as pretty much Martin Scorsese and the rest of us are. He wants the film to be released in cinemas so everyone can see it, in the traditional movie going way, but also acknowledges that the decision is Netflix's. So it's not exactly brilliant news for those of us who want to see The Irishman in cinemas, as De Niro, obviously, as the main star and a producer of the project, is going to have knowledge on the film's distribution. And unlike co-producer Jane Rosenthal who said the movie will definitely be released in cinemas, which I mostly suspected was PR talk, De Niro here seems to be honest in his expressing that he doesn't know if the movie is going to be released in cinemas, but has made it clear that this is what he'd prefer. Saying that though, De Niro pointed out a key fact, the film would not have been made if it wasn't for Netflix. No studio was willing to take such a massive risk, in fact we are living in a time where studios in general seem to be taking very few risks with most of their pictures, prompting celebrated filmmakers like the Coen brothers, Scorsese of course, Bulmero del Toro and Alfonso Cuaron to turn to Netflix for upcoming projects, who are only too happy to oblige. Now of course pretty much all of us want this movie released in cinemas on a wide release, so we can see all of these great actors like De Niro, Pacino and Pesci on the big screen for the only time, the last great gangster film, the curtain closer of the mafia genre. And even though after waiting 10 years for the film to come out and hearing that I probably won't be seeing it in cinemas is infuriating, there is that other voice in my head that says, at least it finally got made. And not only that, but it got made on Scorsese's terms, he got the budget he needed, the actors he wanted, he had completely free reign, complete creative control. And if the flip side to that deal is that I'll have to see the movie in my living room, then you know what? I'll take it. The Irishman is set to be released in the fall of 2019. Thanks for watching.